Cecilia, you know? you know what he did? <laughs> you played for him last season. He comes to you, Cecilia. I'm going to play two now. What happened last season will not happen. Let's go together. And then, see, my coach spoke well. And then you follow. Uh, let's talk about Aimba. Aimba, uh, back to winning ways, Vidal Gombe United. Um, their fans believe it's because they're not playing at home. I, I'm saying that Aimba is a big team that should give us quality anytime, any day. What do you think, Aimba, this season? Should we look at them? Can they give us what to talk about? <laughs> well, with the way they started, maybe the best uh, they can give to us would be maybe a continental ticket or, you know, remain in the Nigerian professional football. But don't take it away from Aimba because Rangers last season, after five games, you know, <laughs> were still placed 13th and they went on to win the league. So anything can happen yeah. with Aimba. But I think for Aimba, this is what you get when you sell most of your best legs. Mm. Okay, and for yeah. MFM, we deserve to give them a mention. Our big winners from mm. March Day 3. Uh, I mean, Coach Electrico is doing a great job. And this same coach that it was mm -hmm. rumored, Cecilia, that he was out of the club. I keep saying Coach Electrico knows this team. He understands this team. Remember, he built this team with yeah. Coach Unduka Obade that is now at Remo Stars. So he knows what to tell these guys. They played a good game against Niger Tornadoes. Now, big game, big win. I think we can still look at MFM this season. Well, we can. Well, and I think if they continue the in this against, vein, they uh, might <laughs> just commit that just professional. But we need to have to do on Wednesday, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I mean, they got, they got thrashed for yeah. this by Ifa and So they came to Lagos so, okay. and they won by... by so we now we know what it means to get four. We'll give you four. <laughs> and then it's balanced right there. But I think they need to consider less mm. away from home. That mm. obviously will help them more. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Because that was what also happened to them um, last season. Yeah. They picked um, at least about two away victories, draws here and there. But towards the tail end of the season, it they started hard. dropping, dropping, dropping. Hard. And it was just the last game of the season that even... You know, secure uh, uh, and maybe we should focus on the you know the the new bees in the Nigerian professional football yep. Gombe United, Remo Stars, Plate ABS. United, ABS. I think mm. so ABS, far so good. Yeah. I think it has to be Plate United. If they continue this being as I said earlier on, they would definitely remain in Nigerian professional football. But winning it, I don't think so because they don't have you know the caliber of, caliber of players that can get that for them. But remaining in the Nigerian professional football league, they started. But I think for Gombe United, the Remo Stars, they need to start picking up points away uh, for them to remain. Yeah, especially Ramos does. I mean, the referee actually saved them that one. That's how they were able to, you know, get the victory that they got. Yeah, that's it. Um, everybody's saying, yeah, it's the ref is ref. But I think Remo stars, they haven't been particularly, you know, yeah. bad. You, um, you would say their first two games, well, inexperienced. Um, Coach Induka Ogbadi trying to, you know, do a lot of mental work with this team. You're no more in the NNL. This is now in the MPFL. We all know the story of Ikurudu United, how they came into the, M the MPFL. Yeah. So, for Remo Stars, um, uh, Joseph, um, what do you, how do you think they can sustain um, consistency with this victory? All they need to do is start picking up away points. I mean, if they can get that uh, I've done, I think Remo Stars will mean Nigerian professional football. Because look at Ikurudu United, out of tw uh, 15 away games, they manage just one. So, I mean, you look at it and mm -hmm. say, uh, for Vermont Stars, they need to start winning on the road or maybe at least get a point mm -hmm. for them to go through. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the way it is. We're going to break now. We'll come out, we'll be looking at the papers and also games from the English Premier League, especially the two interesting games that we witnessed yesterday. Stay with us. So, we'll take a look at the English Premier League now. Just look at two key games. The one of uh, Chelsea Hall City. Why is it key? Because Chelsea had to struggle. And of course, look at the one between Arsenal and Burnley. And mm. because of the drama mm. in that game, 98 minutes is ended. I believe that happened in Nigeria. Oh, but they say referee was partial. But remember, there was actually injury time there. In Southampton and Leicester City. I'm not surprised anymore when Leicester City gets to lose like this. 15th position right now. Not a good one. But let's focus on Arsenal. Being able to manage, I mean, struggled and get that 2 1 win over Burnley. Well, massive victory for Arsenal, massive victory for Arsenal Wenger, mm. if you ask me, takes them uh, to second on the table. Their next game will be against Hall City at Emirates Stadium. Mm -hmm. You expect them, you know, to capitalize on that and win that game because don't forget, after Hall City, they have Chelsea at Stanford Bridge. Mm. And if you look at it with the, uh, which Chelsea are going at this point, it might be difficult for Arsenal to at least get a point. Uh, at Tampa Bay, so for, so for me, good win for well, them. Also, with the former they get next win, <laughs> and they know if they beat Chelsea at Stanford Bridge, they'll cut that guy. Well, also so. that can happen. That <laughs> can happen. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> Joseph, this is well, you can look at the stats. I, I don't think that will happen. I think for me, Arsenal that final loss 
I stand for bridge, but for me, they have well, to be well, well, the three nil loss. Uh, the position. Uh, yeah, no, good. Look, the, the Gunners, that's the way they celebrated that victory <laughs> against Burnley because they understand that if what they win that today? game, yeah, Cecilia, they will get to second and then go and play your best football at Stamford Bridge. And you come here and say they will lose. See, it's been very difficult to bring Chelsea <laughs> down at this point. And for Chelsea, the next game, I can't really uh, say what they're taking on next, but I expect Chelsea to win against Arsenal. Chelsea, they know they want to win the league. They would do everything possible to defeat Arsenal. Maybe the best Arsenal can, uh, uh, can get at the uh, Stanford Bridge would definitely be a point. Yeah, eight points clear. Now, you know, we'll just take a look at the tweet from some of the players. You know, after the game, they had to win social media and tweet about most of the games that happened. Well, Alexis Sanchez, the guy who actually mm. gave us most of the thing and all that, he was able to get something out, so he was actually happy. And for Alexi Wobi, he was happy with the win that they got. Also, you could see yeah. the picture of him and uh, Mustafi there. Mustafi getting his first goal for Arsenal well, of uh, the uh, season. Well, uh, uh, on a day when and Manchester City and Fortyham drew, I mean, what do you expect? They have to celebrate. Massive victory for them. Mm. Oh, so that's it. Um, it was, um, so the players are commenting a massive victory for uh, for us now, and Alexis Sanchez said, just keep uh, oh, keep on producing the goal, the goods. Good. Yeah, <laughs> very important. Because he was man of the match on that day. He was man of the match on on the night. Because at the end of the day, you could see the goals and he, how he was able to help the team to get the very best out of it. That's why Alex Wobi says, look, it was a tough game, but then they managed to stay on top. And everyone congratulating Mustafi for being able to get, you know, his very first. And now this one coming from uh, our Chelsea player, Alonso, say, well, they are still very much on top. I, I love that arrow that he put there, you know, when you're still on, when you're still on top, <laughs> and you're point. point player, you know that, hey, I can't just, remember the, the Spanish La Liga coach now that won his players. Don't finish a game and run to Twitter. <laughs> no. That seems to be the new distraction. <laughs> says, mm. Not our best game, but important three points. I want to wish Ryan Massey the very best. That's the guy who got injured while the yeah. game had to be stopped. And the first half mm. actually ended. 49 minutes was added I to know. it. And that's the way it ended. And now quickly, we'll just look at the papers. Right. If we have time. Ah, I have Sporting Sun here. It says Moses Dazzle has cost the fires EPL. Fifth goal of the season. Pogba's mm. last in face. Twenty-five percent which cuts. No, but no one. Okay. Okay. Um, Complete let me, sports. Let me leave the papers and just take um, <laughs> okay. messages on Twitter. Atochiku Suarez says, "I think what we need in football are robot, robot referees." Ah, uh, because I mean, <laughs> all of these talks, all of these talks that that we we'll get. The Chibuzo Emo said, "Match should have ended goalless, but for the late call by the referee talking about Remo Stars and um, Abi Awaros. Very poor call, he says, but we have to move on." Yeah, mm, I that's love right. that. Thank Absolutely. you so much, Chibuzo. That does it. Uh, Nathaniel Mon Mobalade, thank you for feeling the power of sports. He says it's nice to see Chapman Queens, the back to football, and also good results in the MPFL. So keep these messages coming. And Bright Marvin says it's good to, for Remo Stars to end their first win. Let's celebrate them. That's it. That's what I'm <laughs> celebrating. I mean, thanks to the referee, but they got what they needed to do. Just yeah. thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you for having me, Cecilia. Thank, <laughs> thank, you. thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'm Cecilia. I'm all good. And don't you just love it? I'll get to read your messages on a live show. Keep them coming on Twitter, channels on the Sports, Facebook, channels like Facebook. I'm Austin Okonakman. In everything you do, remember, just keep talking sports. Bye for now.